Welcome back to my channel. It's Skyboy SFO, better known as Bobby. And I do videos about flight attendant lies. TGIF Friday, I made it through the week. How is everybody doing? It's my last video for the week and I thought I'd give you guys some Wonder Woman. If you don't know me by now, that is my favorite superhero next to Wakanda. But you know, this has been my girl since as long as I can remember. I was that guy that uh, had the little bracelets on. I used to deflect the bullets. I don't know what bullets I was deflecting, but um, that's what I was doing back in the days when I was a little kid. All I needed was some little pigtails with the little Wonder Woman thing, and I would have been on. Anyway, I hope everybody's Friday's doing well. Not too much to report. I just thought I'd give you life as an amazing flight attendant and tell you how my weekend's going. And if you've been watching my Instagram on Skyboy SFO, you know I'm doing my keto diet. And I'm in my third week, and I'm here to announce, proud to announce, I've lost so far 13 pounds, um, which is a lot for me in three weeks' time. I've been doing it with my husband, and we've been trying to follow it religiously, but it's also a lifestyle. We're not trying to do it just to lose weight, but what y'all think, y'all? You know, 13 pounds, face getting a little skinnier. Uh, I probably got about 13 more to go to meet my goal weight. So I am on target, actually I'm ahead of schedule. Um, but we had to go shopping today for our keto groceries and man, it ain't cheap for one. But it depends how you look at it because um, before keto, we would go shopping maybe every other day, spending hundreds of dollars on stuff we don't need and everything in a box and processed food and um, things that you know stay in the shelf life forever. Um, now we go shopping once a week. We get everything we need for the week. We need all the meals, entrees, meal planning. Um, and we cook together. We take turns cooking and learn new things and how to eat and what food is about. What is a calorie? What is a carb? What is a protein? Um, that was some of the things that we were lacking. We didn't know um, what we were putting in our mouths. We were just putting in the mouths. And all the diets, I mean, we tried everything. I've even tried the watermelon diet, so don't judge. But most diets doesn't work for our lifestyle. We're not a person who uh, just stay at home and bake cookies. We like to get out, we like to socialize, we like to have fun, we like to eat. We travel all over the world and we like to try their local food. And there's no keto in Beijing and there's no keto in Cambodia. Um, so it's also been a challenge for me by the profession I do as a flight attendant, how do I maintain um, keto? So. Uh, it's been teaching me how to bring my own lunch pail and uh, meal prep. Just prepare what I'm going to eat for that week. Uh, stay away from the airplane food because that is bad for you. Nothing but processed salt blows you up um, and it's just not good. One of the benefits that we're getting too is also skincare is getting better. Uh, I feel healthy. Um, I feel tinier, like, you know, I got a little waist size now, like, I have to do my um, belt in more. And one of the reasons why I did start it, because I was off for a couple of weeks, got back in my uniform, and I was, like, struggling. But I'm not going to give you the whole scope until I meet my goal weight. I'm going to show you guys before and after, and periodically I'm going to pop in and give you guys some of the recipes that we've been doing. Um, some of these foods are good. Any diet that allows me to eat bacon, I'm good. And there's the naysayers out there. There's the people saying it's not good for you, it's bad, and well, everything we eat is bad. Every diet we try is bad. But what works best for me? Um, if you do start this diet, I'm no doctor, I'm no expert, so you might want to go see your own doctor to make sure that you're healthy because it is a high-fat, uh, low-carb, medium-protein kind of a diet. So if that's not you and you switch your body, what you're bringing in, you might want to have a doctor to check you out and make sure that you're healthy enough to do the diet that you're trying, whether it's keto or whether it's Jenny or Weight Watchers or whatever else is going out there. And it doesn't mean you can't exercise too. We're athletes. We both are tennis players, so we definitely get some of that exercising in. He's more of the walker, so he walks all over San Francisco. I'm more head to the gym, get on that treadmill, get it done, and keep it moving. But, um, that's pretty much on keto. I, I highly recommend it, but you know, I'm no expert. You have to check it out for yourself. But um, 
I was a little under the weather. I worked a domestic trip yesterday and I barely made it. It was just, I don't know, maybe being off and using when I'm off for a while to get back on the airplane. My body's not immune to all the germs and chemicals and everything you guys are bringing on the airplane to get us sick. Get away, get away, get away. Um, but I feel much better today and perfect timing um, before the weekend start. And I'm gonna be that YouTuber that says, you guys, I got something exciting to tell you guys, but I just can't wait until I get the ink dry and final and um, get you guys out. Um, it's very exciting for us, maybe not much for you, but it's good news. And uh, stay tuned, because you never know I'm gonna drop a surprise video. And again, last week I made, uh, or last couple of days, I've gotten to 10,000 followers, which is one of my, uh, subscribers, which was one of my um, goals. So thank you guys for your support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, look down below. There's a button that says subscribe, hit it, click it. Uh, that's how I make more videos. That's how I uh, do what I do and I enjoy what I do. Uh, also on my Instagram, I'm really near 10,000. I have like 9,500. So if you are a subscriber here on YouTube, you should check out my Instagram. That's when I get down dirty and the nitty gritty. That's where my everyday life is on there. So definitely um, be a follower onto that and I would love you to death. Upcoming events and work trips. I have uh, 10,000, let's make it 20. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's start with you. Let's make it 20,000. One of my subscribers just left a message that I should do 20,000. Why not? I could do 10. I didn't actually think I could do 10. I was trying to focus on getting 1,000 a month ago, and it's just boom, boom, boom. And I'm still trying to find my niche, so you're seeing me all over the place still because I'm new. So I'm trying to figure out what's best for me, what's best for you, what do you guys like, and how I find that out is by leaving comments down below of what videos you want me to make. And I've already started my second channel, which is Bobby Robert TV on YouTube. So check that out. Uh, there's not much on there because I don't have that many subscribers. So I usually try to grow this and then carry that over to my Bobby TV. But I wanted to get it started because I want to separate my flight attendant life with my lifestyle and travel life. So that keep the two because I love both. But I have an audience for one and I have an audience for another. It's a little bit more work, but... I'm here for the challenge. Um, but for next week, I have exciting trips. I have Tahiti. I went there a couple of months ago and did all the touristy things, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna blog about. I think I'm gonna rent a car and go to, to the, one of the uh, outer islands and just drive around and just film the ocean, the clear water. If you've never been to Tahiti, it's one of the most beautiful um, beaches and clear water oceans. It's just gorgeous. Um, and then the week after that, I have uh, New Zealand. I was supposed to do that last month, and something came up where I couldn't do that. So, and I've never been there, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And then I still have a Tel Aviv uh, at the end of the month, which I was supposed to do all this month, but I traded it because I have kind of been to Tel Aviv. I'm kind of waiting until Kelly um, can go with me so he can see the motherland, see the, where it all began, um, and it's floating the Dead Sea which I never thought as an African-American kid from the Bay Area that I would be floating in the Dead Sea, seeing some of the seven wonders of the world. Um, so it's been great, um, 32 years and I've seen a lot, but this is so much more to see. Yes, I've seen a lot, but this world is big. It's bigger than that African continent, it's bigger than the world. Um, so uh, I just wanna, the world and it's just gonna keep plugging and um, keep digging and keep trading and trying to see the world outside of my work life you know you really can't see much on your layover when you're working because you work for 15 hours on an airplane serving people and then they only give you 25 hours in that city and then you have to do it all over again but uh, we tend to travel a lot on our days off um, whatever time we can get um, that's when we travel and we're budget queens so we're not trying to stay at the fanciest rest uh, hotels or eat at the fanciest restaurants. In no case, we will, but you know, we like to be there more time as in quality time than um, uh, quantity time. And also seeing, um, we see the major things, like if you go to Paris, you gotta see the Eiffel Tower. But we like to go further into the, the culture of each country and learn and try not to bring the American ways 
to the city that we go to, but learn something from their city and take away from it. And that's also been a struggle with keto because, you know, you can't be eating rice in Asia on keto. Um, and whenever I'm in that predicament, I try to eat um, proportion-wise. So I'm going to eat rice. I'm going to eat something, in, you know, small amount. Uh, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to have a, a taste of an apple pie. Um, my weakness, I think even when I get off of keto, I'm, I'm never going to be able to get rid of ice cream. Does anybody else have an ice cream fetish? Uh, before keto, I was eating ice cream, a half a pint. That was my dessert. That was my sleeping pill. That was like, I've earned this. This is life. And the creamier, the better. I don't need all the fancy nuts and flavors. Vanilla, high premium ice cream, especially if it's homemade. Um, if you ever want a soft spot of me, just send me a pint of ice cream and you got me for good. Um, that's all I have for today. Let's see, in the world, in the news today, again, it is not a great month for African-American males to be a black male because our celebrities are looking, making, setting us back. You think about R. Kelly, Jesse Somali, Michael Jackson, and all allegations are innocent until proven guilty, so I'm not judging anymore. I learned from Jesse not to judge real quick, not just from him, but um, hear all the evidence, hear all the facts. Uh, then make your decision. Um, it's it, For Michael, it's probably, probably the hardest because I'm an 80s kid and I grew up w listening and watching his videos. I mean, he was the video era of him, Madonna, um, with that time where MTV came out. They were having the Thriller video. Uh, I had the beaded jacket. I, I had the jerry curl like Michael. Um, but come on now, we knew something in the background always been going on with Michael and we, and we as citizens are just letting that just go by. We all knew about R. Kelly, same thing, whispers and all that, but nothing's being done. So, you know, I'm not really blaming them. I'm blaming us, society, that, you know, we buy their music and we are enablers. But um, I think I was listening to Wendy Williams and how um, D.L. Hoogley said that you got to separate the two. When music is the music. It'll always be legend and live on, and you just have to separate that. The, who the person is, who they are, that's who they are. He's the example of the Star Spangled Banner is what he sings. Doesn't mean he believe into it, but it's two separate things. So, uh, but I'm not going to get way into that, because that's not what I'm about. I'm about life as a flight attendant and how fun it is and bad it could be, but that just depends. Um... But I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. It's been raining all month here in San Francisco. It's supposed to be nice this weekend. So we're probably going to get out and probably do something. Um, oh, I almost let the cat out of the hat about my surprise. Um, but definitely stay tuned for that again. And uh, I got a couple more videos coming up. For those people who are still trying to be that flight attendant, I have a video coming up on segment three of what you should know before you become a flight attendant. And then I also, I like reaction videos. That is the new hottest YouTube thing. So I'm doing Serbian music. I just picked something out of the total blue because I accidentally fell into it. So I look at a Serbian video. I don't know what they're saying. I've never seen it. And you see my reaction. And I'll probably do a couple of new releases from pop culture, like if Beyonce drop anything, y'all be the first to know. Because you know I want to be Beyonce, so <laughs> uh, I'll definitely be reacting to some of her new videos. And she is due. When she's quiet, y'all better watch out because um, Beyonce will drop something on you in a hot minute when you at least suspect it. She'll drop it before payday, so you should always have a, I have a Beyonce account. I have a little side pocket where I put a little money aside. So when she throws a side video, concert, or anything, I got my money ready because I don't want to miss Beyonce. Uh, nothing. I'm a beehive for life. Should I get a tattoo with beehive? What do you think? <laughs> no. I do have a tattoo. The only tattoo I do have is right here, which is a funny story. It's I don't know what it is, like maybe a sun with a circle. But originally I wanted it at my belly button area. And um, I told the guy, that's what I want. This is where I want. He's like, oh, you want that there? I'm like, what do you mean that there? He's like, it usually hurts there a lot. So a lot of people don't want to get there. I was like, well, where does it hurt the least amount? And he's like, usually on their arms. Like, oh, that's where I want it. So that's the only tattoo I have. I, 
not against it. I just never had a chance, and they're expensive to um, get a tattoo. But um, that's it, folks. I got about 15 minutes, so I don't know if I can keep your time that long. I know you guys are busy. It's Friday night, getting your hair done, getting your weave done, getting whatever you need to get done for the weekend. So have a good weekend, and thanks for uh, tuning in my live channel. I do a live channel on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I do a flight attendant video on Friday, sometimes Monday or Wednesday, so it keeps me busy. And if you want life about me every single day, check out my Instagram. It's SkyboySFO. Signing out my life as a flight attendant. Bye. Bye, girl. Bye. 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 Bye, girl.